Hey, so fix a lot here. We're going to be showing you how to bleed the brakes on a 2009 Honda Civic. This should work on all the Civics in that generation. Um, so we start out with a can of ATE Type 200. This is a DOT4 brake fluid. This uh, came to us, uh, we purchased this on eBay from R1 Concepts. It's a great brake fluid. The DOT5 is silicone, so that sometimes affects the stock brake hoses. Uh, the DOT3 is fine also, uh, but the DOT4 tends to be a little bit more performance oriented and it doesn't, it doesn't hurt your uh, brake lines at all. Uh, you're going to need a brake bleeder hose, which is going to be kind of inserted into, you know, a, a suitable container that you can kind of see through to just see any bubbles coming through. Um, you're going to need an 8 millimeter um, box end, let's say, for the rear and for the front, 10 millimeter um, for the front. You can use a box end too, you don't have to use this uh, flare nut wrench. Um, you're going to need the, for the rear brakes, you're going to need both needle nose pliers in order to help get this tube onto the bleed screw. I'll show you that. And then you're going to just need a little screwdriver here in order to get the um, rubber cover off the rear bleed screw. The front bleed screw, it's pretty easy. Okay, we're here at the rear caliper. You can see there's a little bleed uh, bolt right back here. And this is where the 8mm uh, goes on to. So you first have to remove that rubber cover. So you can use a screwdriver and just kind of carefully like remove it, pull it back, and then utilize some needle, needle nose pliers and then just kind of remove it like that. Then you're going to want to attach the tube, the bleed tube, uh, onto it after that. Now you can see that I'm feeding the bleed tube right here through the suspension. You first want to attach the 8 millimeter box end of your wrench, okay, onto it like this because you have to have you have to have movement to bleed it like this and then to tighten it and to bleed it and to tighten it like that. So you want to insert the tube kind of through the suspension and then utilize your needle nose pliers just kind of grab onto it and then push it right onto the sorry if this wrench is getting in the way you push it right onto the the bleed nipple like that and make sure that it's on good and snug like that and then you put the other end into the bottle and then you have your assistant come in and uh, press the brake pedal when they push down you open it up and then you close it and then they pull up on the uh, brake pedal and you do that several times always checking the fluid level in the reservoir in the engine compartment to make sure that you never run out you always want to have some fluid in there otherwise you're going to pull in air uh, into the lines and that's basically what you're trying to get out so um, you do this, uh, you start out with the right rear, you always start out from the farthest point from the uh, reservoir. So you go right rear, left rear, and then right front, and then left front in that order. And um, you do about, you know, when you're back here in, in the rear area, you've got to do maybe 8 to 10 um, pumps on the brake. And then when you're in the front, you can probably reduce that to like six to eight uh, in order to, until you start seeing kind of clear fluid come through or new fluid come through the line. We've got an assistant in the car and we're just gonna say floor and they push the brake pedal all the way down and then up. Then they let it up and you say floor and then up and then floor up, floor, up, floor, up, floor, 
up, floor, up, floor, up. And you can see that the fluid is, is draining into the, into the uh, bottle. It doesn't have to be, the tube doesn't have to necessarily be submerged because you're actually creating a vacuum area right up here. Um, not a vacuum, but you know, yeah, basically there's, there's going to be um, fluid in this line. So even if it pulls back a little bit, it's, it's still going to be pulling fluid back. Uh, so this one didn't really have much air in the lines. The, the, the brake pedal felt pretty solid. So we're not going to see a lot of bubbles or sputtering coming out of the tubing. Um, but what we want to do is we want to push most of the old fluid through this, this right rear corner. All right, floor, up, floor, up, floor, up, floor, up, floor, up. And so what you want to do now is you want to go and just kind of look at the reservoir just to make sure that it's not drained out and then refill it and then come back here. And All right, the reservoir was about half empty. I filled it back up and that was around 10 times. So we're probably going to have to do this about, I don't know, 15 more times in order to push through most of the old fluid out this corner. And then we're going to do the other side, the left rear, and that's going to push kind of the rest of it through. All right, floor, up, 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 floor. Up. Start the final stage on the left front brake here. You can see I've got the flare nut wrench on, 10 millimeter, and then the tube, and then your bottle. And you just say, okay, floor it, floor, up, floor, up, floor, up, floor, up, floor, up. And you do this about six to eight times up here in the front and wipe up any excess. Put the cap back on and you put the wheels on and you should be ready to go with blood brakes. Top up your master cylinder again, um, back to the maximum mark and the car should be ready. To